Welcome back guys, welcome to Sunshine Pet. I wanted to make this video on how I'm be setting up these new guppy tubs. Um, you know, tubbing season's upon us. So I wanted to show you exactly how I do it. <clears throat> so, I picked these up at Costco for $11. They're 27 gallons each. They come with the top. What I'm doing right now is, all I do, take the hose, I'm rinsing it out like so. Simple. I'm filling these up. The fish that I'm putting in here today are the tuxedo koi that I just got from a guy. You know who you are. Um, I decided I'm just going to put them all outside. Uh, so I'll show you that here. Uh, let's see if we can see a better picture of them. So you can see these are the tuxedo koi. There's some short bodies in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them all together and not separate them. The male looks beautiful. Um, I'm not going to bother cycling this this 27 tub. I'm going to take some plants in from whatever pond. Actually, I might take them from over there because there's less snails. I was going to take this particular pump that I just cleaned, but there's a bunch of eggs on it, probably from the ram's horns. I don't know how they got in there, but they're pain. But you can see these nebula steels are absolutely beautiful. These might be one of my new favorite fish. Obviously, my favorite fish is a koi guppy. You can see the cherry shrimp, uh, very bright. I put a bunch of old mystery snail shells in there for fry and the snails and the um, shrimp to hide in. But don't mind this. This is all old concrete when the <laughs> construction work is. But if you guys wanted to know, this is a 30 gallon long. I have a few water hyacinths in there, some duckweed to help with the filtration and to keep the nit uh, nitrates down. Uh, in here, obviously, the sunrise guppies. So I'll show you them in a minute. But going back to setting up a tub, these are 11 gallons each. These are the lids. So if it gets too hot, or if you want to keep them covered, you could just cover them. I'm gonna put an air stone in there now. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna take these guys out now, and I'll show you how many are in there. All right, they might be a little skittish just because I just picked up the guy just picked up a bunch. So let's see how many we can get. <laughs> one. I picked them up before. There was probably a few hundred in here. Yeah, these are all the fry and the female. Let's see, they gotta be over here. Obviously, when you record, that's not when they. Uh, here they are. All right, here we go. There we go. Let's put them in the water for you guys to see. All right, let's take a look at these guys. There we go. I can't really see with the glare, but based on this, yeah, there's a nice male there. Females look great. Like I said, I do sell these locally and some online. I haven't learned to, not learned to ship, but I haven't actually started shipping yet. But you can see from the top, the exact, you know, the males really do shine bright. Let's see if I can see. Yeah, this is difficult with the sun. Sorry guys. But this actually is better. Yeah, that one, that's really nice. So that's them. And then I actually ended up putting koi guppies over here. So you can see my koi guppies are out now in the full sun. I just put some of these magnolia leaves from the front for little hiding spots. They do need more plants, so I'm probably gonna go to the store and pick up more. I do have this covered with that netting, but what I found is the problem is, is this netting falls in there and then the fish gets stuck in between it. And I think I might've lost one of my full grown leotails. tails. Hopefully he'll make it, but you can see these guys are doing great. These are my favorite guppy or favorite fish. And I figured I put them out here just because I want them to breed a lot more. You can see right now the male is breeding with the female. Chasing the female, that, that female should give birth pretty soon. But I got that hornwort from a local auction. The guy gave me this redwood floater. So hopefully this all does good. I'll cover this all up later. Obviously all the fish are in there. But to finish off the video, guys, if you wanted to make tubs, fill it up with water. If you want, you could put starter in there, but I don't think it's necessary just because depending on the fish, guppies do not produce that much poop 
basically, and they should be fine. I've never had an issue. All these ponds, I never cycled. I put the water in, I let it sit for a few days, and I put the fish in. So I'm gonna dump the fish in now, and then I'll show you what they look like. All right, these are the Tuxedo Koi Guppies. As you can see, this is probably the short body male. And with these, is really, I don't think there's a need to cycle, but since I just added this water, it's a little chiller. Let me test the water quick. Let's see. The old finger test. A few degrees cooler. I'll add a little water just because I don't want to shock them. And normally when you add fish, you always want to take aquarium water from whoever you got it from any pet store, drain it out. But since it's just going to be them, it's not going to be a concern of mine. So I'll let them settle for a few minutes and then I'll put them in. All right, guys, it's been about five minutes. I actually adjusted the air pump. So that way they get a little more air in here. You don't need air, but these guys, I just like to have air in case it gets too hot. Let's put them in there, there they go. Yeah. Double check that. I have, a I have a plant in here just for little coverage and in case they have any fry. I'm gonna go to the store and go pick up some more plants. Um, these plants do reproduce relatively quickly. But I don't add substrate. Uh, just because I don't like to it because taking them out in the winter it's it's a pain just just say that I don't know if substrate makes a difference I noticed this water is a lot clearer without it or with it but that's the pond update and if you guys are interested and you are locally hit me up if you want any of these fish pricing is available just email me if you look back at my previous video I have a video I have a tank with like probably two to three hundred mutt guppies if you're interested, send me an offer on all of them. I want to dismantle that tank and put black rams in it. So if you're interested, you want to start your own guppy pond, that is a perfect way to start. There's a lot of red guppies in there, German white tuxedos. A lot of my mutt guppies and coals are in there. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. If you have any comments, comment down below. Thanks, guys.